there, my name is Kat Moon and I'm the Programming Outreach Coordinator here at WonderHub. Um, I'm just here to do a intro into one of the cool projects that we got to do in the museum. One of the things that I get to do outside of working at this wonderful institution is that I am also a local artist. So one of the things I got to do was create art in one of the exhibits in WonderHub. So when you come to visit Wonder Hub, we have a gallery called the North Gallery. And in there, we have things called boxes of fun. In those boxes, there's one that has a recording studio, one that plays music, one that has really cool sensory walls. And then there's my favorite, the mystery box. Now, the reason why it's called the mystery box is because inside of this box, are four black blank walls that are actually also magnetic. So my challenge as an artist was to go in and turn it into a brand new interactive scene that families can come in and be creative. I decided with the help of another local artist, Kathy, uh, we together created a winter landscape where you can come in and build snowmen and build trees on the walls. Um, it's got cool light display inside of it as well. So all of those exhibits were actually created by a company called Argyle. Um, a few of our exhibits were created by them. I decided to create a little video of my whole process when I was creating uh, art in the box. So stay tuned, kind of uh, check out, I kind of tossed in some tips in there. You'll also see a little blue friend on the wall that you might have seen in Saskatoon. Have fun with it. Thanks guys. And I am here to paint Wonder Hub's mystery box. So this is my lovely blank canvas that I get to work with here. I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna be documenting a little bit of my steps as I create. So let's turn this blank canvas into a winter wonderland. All right, so I'm just starting with a nice bright moon. I absolutely love painting moons because you got a nice shine around them. It's a nice nighttime scene. All right. So we've got a lovely moon coming along here. Now this whole scene is gonna have sky with northern lights, and then we're gonna have movable snowflakes, all sorts of fun stuff, lovely snow drifts to build snowmen on. We're gonna start with this moon, and then come back and show you what I've done. Okay, we are back. So this is kind of what's been happening so far. So basically I am just using a mixture of tempera and acrylic paints, a pretty good sized brush. I'm just going in and just streaking away. Honestly, night skies are the most fun to play with because they are just so natural and organic. So really there's just no wrong way to go about it. So I would say, um, should you ever want to paint anything like this, just have fun with it and get some streaks of white in there, streaks of color and just kind of let loose. Been about an hour. So we kind of have our wispy looking sky, kind of a touch of northern lights in there. So again, all I did was just basically take my brush and just play with colors. Just got my, my brush here. I'm kind of feeling some blue right now, so I'm just gonna find some blue. more. All right. And you know what? I think I just like this spot. I'm feeling blue. And I generally don't really wash my brush as I paint because where's the fun in that? The colors all kind of mix together as you go. Um, so that is kind of how I've been doing the sky. Once I kind of run out of blue again, I'm not going to wash my brush. Maybe I'm going to find a little bit of white. Sky could use a little bit of lightning in certain places. I mean, it's further away from the moon now, so we can kind of have a few darker colors. Now, if you're finding that it's not really blending as well as you'd like, um, I would just suggest just taking a tiny bit of water. And I'll kind of just soften that into the other colors. Nothing wrong with a few streaks here and there though. And that's how I'm really doing this whole sky. Now, here's my moon. 
As I was saying, I do not make my moon perfectly round. Um, again, I like to make a bit of a narrative as to why it isn't round. Um, so if you can think of a really creative story about what happened to the moon and why it's no longer round, um, definitely post your suggestions. Um, I mean, it can't just be that the artist didn't want to make it round. <laughs> um, so feel free to kind of add your narrative to it. Misty Rocks Bops as a whole goal is that it's going to be a kind of feel like you're in a storybook. So um, any opportunity I can give to kind of create a narrative, you guys go ahead and add your stories. Um, before we move to the other walls, I thought I'd just toss some like splatter up in this wall to kind of make it look a little more um, snowy. Now there's a few things you can do with this. This is my, my brush. Now hopefully you are prepared and you've got stuff on the floor to catch any splatter that gets away from you. Um, so I would always suggest, like you can always kind of do like the, the flicking oh, technique, then you kind of get gloves like that. Not as nice. Um, you can tap it, uh, tap the brush, but I've done that once already today and I am completely covered with white splatter. Um, so I would suggest uh, the blowing technique. You just kind of blow on it to the bristles a little bit and you will find that you'll get really nice um, patterns on the wall with your white paints. Um, so that's kind of what I would suggest. So you can kind of get a cool pattern like that. Hey everyone, um, so here I am. I'm moving on to the second wall here. Now this one, I kind of brought the snow up, kind of maybe like a little hill, and then back down on this wall. Um, I did this for a couple reasons, just to kind of create a new narrative. In fact, I potentially have a nice little blank spot down there, possibly for a, a bear den with our little bear friends sleeping down there. Um, we shall see uh, how that turns out. Again, you can tell uh, I've been painting for a while. My hands and brush are getting quite coated. Um, but I just kind of go in and just drag and kind of follow in my, my curves a little bit. It's just kind of following the snow line and then kind of curving up. But all in all, just kind of having fun streaking some blue paint. Kind of wanted to look kind of like a blustery evening out with lots of colors. We want to have that winter feel. So um, that's really what I'm doing now. I'm just kind of using all the same dark blue to start off with. And then when I'm ready, I can streak in some whites and pinks and purples and greens and kind of how I have this wall a little bit. I probably won't use quite as much white because we are getting further away from the moon, but I want to lighten up the sky just enough, just in case I decide to do any tree silhouettes out there for our snowmen to have some more interesting backgrounds in there. If you ever want to, if your parents ever would ever let you go in and paint some of their walls, um, it is a really fun thing to do, especially when you just get to um, streak on some paint and, um, and have fun and, and watch it come to life. All right, just a quick update, everybody. So this is our, um, story box. Um, I actually was able to work with another very talented artist. She has been working on the snow portion of our design here. Um, so if you're ever wondering how to get this kind of cool sort of textured pattern, um, what she did is she painted acrylic paints and then she laid some um, saran wrap over it let it dry a little bit and then pull it off and it makes this kind of real cool pattern. All right, so this is what we've done so far. Um, so again, it's myself and another artist, Kathy. So we kind of were tackling this room together. Um, definitely the most fun you can have painting is when you're painting with a friend. So definitely uh, do that. It's also wonderful. If you are cooped up at home and you are looking for a way to just um just kind of if you have a bit of anxiety or you just want to just be creative it's really fun just to grab a piece of paper or a canvas or if your parents are very generous a wall <laughs> and just play with paint so our newest addition is this little guy down here um we wanted to uh feature mel thompson's uh um dragon down here um and uh, so that's what we thought. Um, after reading the article, 
about uh, how they just wanted to create something that people brought people joy. Um, we wanted to feature, hopefully we've done your blue, uh, Mel Thompson, your blue dragon justice. Um, so uh, with Wonder Hub, a big focus of ours is being a place that um, supports kindness and fun and play. And um, uh, we also wanted to feature another artist who also embodies that. So um, check him out, he's in the corner here. All right, we're gonna keep working on our our mystery box and I'll update you in a bit. All right, so I think our mystery box is pretty much done. So all these little pieces, snowman pieces are all magnetic. You can create your own little snowman families in here. Um, so coming in, have fun. It's the little blue dragon. The only thing that this mystery box is missing is I feel like we need to have a little wintry friend perched up here. So if you have any suggestions or ideas of who can go up there, maybe give him a name, um, I will paint him up there uh, to be part of our mystery box and part of our story. So if you want to come and play in this fabulous mystery box, um, come visit us at Wonder Hub. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope you get the opportunity to get creative in your own homes. Um, if your parents say you can't paint on their walls, ask them maybe for some paper or canvas and just play with colors. It is so much fun. Um, if you want to get outside instead, you grab some, you can grab some paint and paint on some snow. It's a great way to get outdoors and um, be creative outdoors. Hop into Wonder Hub, check out the art and the activities throughout the whole museum, but also Mystery Box. Thanks for tuning in. And if you'd love to see more videos about some of our programs or other cool stuff to do at home, check out wonderhub.ca or wonderworld on wonderhub.ca. There's lots of cool stuff on there. Okay, see you guys later. Thank you.